epic. So today, I have a very special food mama for y'all. It's Taco Bell versus Taco Bell, y'all. Or should I say Taco Bell, because I'm half Cuban. Their breakfast menu versus their dinner menu, which is also their lunch menu and their like main menu. I'm just gonna call it dinner menu because it sounds fancier. Early bird whore menu. <laughs> Late night horror menu, okay? I have only had a few Taco Bell breakfast items in my life, and I loved them, but I just have not gotten it often at all. Now y'all know, the rest of the menu is very near and dear to my heart and my mouth and out my ass. Honestly, I have probably tried like every main menu item. I'm not joking, because I love it so much. Taco Bell is like actually my favorite restaurant in the world, I think. So I'm so interested to see which of their menus are better. I, I just can't wait. In case if y'all are new to food battle, basically, I get very similar items from very similar restaurants or the same restaurant <laughs> and I compare them in little rounds like taco versus taco whoever wins that round gets a point and the side with the most points by the end of the video wins the boom, boom. You got it? Okay. There are 10 rounds in today's video, and they are a crunch wrap round, big burritos, quesadillas, aka quesadillas for all you white whores out there, small burritos, dessert, tacos, bowls, potato burritos, sides, and a wild card round. So those are the rounds, y'all. Are we pumped? We are pumped. Let's quickly unbox all this food and then we will start tasting everything. I got this huge bag. This is like the best day of my life, y'all. <laughs> okay, so first things first, we have the original quesadilla. I think this is part of the normal menu. Yes, this is the chicken quesadilla, iconic. Now this is, <gasps> this is the little breakfast bowl. I think it's called like the mini skillet bowl. It has fried potatoes, eggs, cheese, um, pico de gallo. It looks so good, guys. I haven't had this before. So that's gonna be in my bowl round. Now this is a burrito. Which burrito is this? I have to check all these burritos, guys, so I know what I'm eating. <laughs> okay, so this is a breakfast one. I see potatoes, eggs, pico de gallo, cheese. Um, This could be either the potato burrito or the grande scrambler. We'll find out. Now this is a bigger burrito for sure. <gasps> this tortilla is so fluffy, guys. Okay, so this must be the grande scrambler. It is much bigger. It has tons of potatoes. I see bacon, I see everything. So that one before, that was the little potato breakfast burrito. This is the big breakfast bitch, guys. <laughs> I cannot. So this is the breakfast taco. Okay, I just ripped it apart. It looks like this JJ just gave birth. I see bacon, eggs, cheese. So this is their little breakfast taco. So excited. Now this is a very skinny, small burrito. I think that it's the potato griller. The grillers at Taco Bell are like a burrito, but they're like a mini burrito and they're like very cheap. And they're filled with only, wait, no, wait. Oh, no, wait, this is the breakfast burrito. I think this is just the $1 one, okay. I see sausage, eggs, all that good stuff. Wow, okay. Now, this item is part of my wild card round where I try two completely different items and compare them. This is the sausage flatbread. I think it's like cheese, eggs, and sausage in a flatbread, so it's not a tortilla. It smells really good and like very different. Yes, okay, so this is the breakfast crunch wrap supreme. It feels very heavy. It smells very grilled and fresh and burnt, but in a good way. After this video, my asshole's gonna be burnt in a good way. Uh -huh. So now this must be the breakfast quesadilla. I'm shook that it's just as big as the original quesadilla. That's very nice. Yes, it has sausage, eggs, cheese, everything. Wow. Now, this is Taco Bell's hash brown. I'm so glad that even though they're like a taco joint, they still went with a classic breakfast fast food hash brown. It's iconic. Everyone loves them. They're crispy. They're greasy. We have to stand. Of course, for the breakfast dessert, I have to get the Cinnabon Delights. I haven't had these in like years, but they are actually the best thing to ever exist on this planet. I just can't imagine a world without them. She is... The daughter I never had. The sister I've always wanted. I don't know a better person. I don't know a better person. For the normal menu dessert round, I did get the cinnamon twist thingies. I know that Taco Bell um, usually has a couple more um, desserts, like an empanada and a brownie, all that stuff, but they were not on the Grubhub menu, which is like Taco Bell's like official delivery thing, I think. So I had to get the cinnamon twists, which are good, but probably not as good as the cinnamon delights. That's not gonna be a fair round, let's be real. <laughs> now this is the um, Fiesta potatoes, I think. This is for the little bowl round um, on the normal menu. It's like fried potatoes and nacho cheese and sour cream. There's nothing better than this, guys. Let's see if the breakfast version holds up. Now this is, this is the loaded potato griller. Okay, this is going up against the breakfast potato burrito. And it's basically just this 
in a burrito, which we stand. <laughs> I'm not gonna get mad at that. Who needs protein when you have all that starch, bitch? Now, of course, for the Crunchwrap Supreme round, I got the classic Crunchwrap Supreme to go up against the breakfast version. I haven't had this in literally years. Y'all, there's some meat poking out there. Girl, that's a booty hole. <laughs> oh my God. <gasps> now, I think, oh my God. I forgot I got this. <laughs> what scared me? <laughs> For the wild card round, up against the sausage flatbread, I got the double chalupa, which is like a chalupa that's like really fat. Like my ass. And it's like filled with so much stuff. I cannot, this is so heavy. Watch guys. That's heavy. Now this is another burrito, I think. This is the Burrito Supreme. So this is going up against my big breakfast burrito. Now this is a much smaller burrito. Which one is it? Okay, so this is just the plain bean burrito. I got it for my small burrito round to go up against the $1 breakfast burrito. Love that, that's iconic. Now we have this really soggy taco right here. It was like underneath everything, so it took all the juices. Um, This is just their plain soft taco to go up against their main breakfast taco. And then last but not least, what is this? That is something I did not order. Okay, so <laughs> they gave me a crunchy taco. I don't know what that's for. We do have a missing item um, as my side. To go up against the hash brown, I got chips and nacho cheese. The chips are missing, so I'm gonna take this shell from the extra taco they gave me and use it as chips for the nacho cheese and chips. So that works. I'm gonna count everything to make sure everything's here. And then I'm gonna get my thumbnail, get close ups of every item, and then we're gonna start feasting. So the normal soft taco from Taco Bell was a dollar and thirty nine cents, and the breakfast soft taco was one dollar flat. I got the bacon kind. There's either bacon or sausage. So the breakfast one is actually cheaper. It has eggs, bacon pieces, melted cheese, and I think that's it. I wish it had like a sauce on it or something. It is looking kind of dry. <laughs> And then the original taco from Taco Bell, of course, has the seasoned beef, lettuce, and cheese. And it doesn't need a sauce because the beef kind of is the sauce. It has so much flavor in it. So let's first try the breakfast sauce taco. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. The bacon does have that chewy kind of fake bacon flavor and texture in my opinion. It does not taste real, it is not crispy, but surprisingly the eggs taste very good. They don't taste like that powder, they taste pretty damn good. I do think this um, taco would benefit a lot from like taco sauce or like salsa, which they did not give me. So it's pretty good, but I think maybe with sausage it might be a bit better. The bacon just is kind of throwing me off. Now let's try the original taco from Taco Bell. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. What can I say? Taco Bell seasoned beef has such an iconic flavor. It doesn't need sauce. It doesn't need toppings at all. It's so seasoned. That's why it's called seasoned beef. <laughs> I think it's obvious. The winner of the taco round is... Dinner menu. Dinner menu has one point. Breakfast menu has zero. We have nine rounds to go, so anything could happen, bitch. Next up, let's do the little bowls. About my buns, you gonna feel it miles away, but bitch, don't try to run. There's a big fat crack, but it ain't in the earth. My anus hole is gonna open up and swallow your turd. So the cheesy fiesta potatoes from the dinner menu is a dollar and fifty nine cents, and the mini skillet bowl from the breakfast menu is one dollar. So this is actually cheaper. Let's first try the breakfast version. Um, it does have a nacho cheese as well, so they might taste very similar. But this just has like pico de gallo and eggs on top. Let's try it. Mmm. That's so good. The eggs and the potatoes go so well together, of course, because they always do. But the pico de gallo and the nacho cheese like really add such a freshness to it that just gives it almost like chipotle vibes. Like it just it just tastes so fresh and juicy and like no, oh, I'm awake. <laughs> this really woke me up, bitch. Now let's try the cheesy fiesta potatoes from the dinner menu. Get some sour cream up in there. Oh my god, yes. 
Mmm. Mmm. That's iconic. That's so delicious. The sour cream is so creamy and so delicious. I can't. But now that I've had this breakfast one, this one is missing a bit of freshness. It's just very, very salty. They're both amazing, like so good, but I think the winner of the little bowl round is breakfast has one point, dinner has one point. Next up, let's do the small burritos. Work it, pop it, anus, drop it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Flip it, flip it, asshole, clip it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Get it, shit it, butthole, sniff it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Wet it, pet it, ass can get it, ass, cheek, earthquake. So the bean burrito from the dinner menu was $1.39. And the grilled breakfast burrito from the breakfast menu was $1. A lot of these breakfast items are like $1 flat. That's iconic and that's so affordable. We love that for us. We do. So um, the breakfast one has sausage, cheese, and a whole lot of scrambled eggs. So it's very simple, but it is a decent size for a dollar. It is. And it's pretty heavy. And then the bean burrito, which is like, you know, like the main staple cheap burrito at Taco Bell, has refried beans, onions, melted cheese, and the iconic red sauce. I love the bean burrito. Oh my God. Okay, so let's first try the breakfast burrito. Mmm. So y'all, I didn't know this, but Taco Bell does add nacho cheese to their breakfast burritos. And that really sets it apart from other fast food breakfast burritos. It gives it such like a Taco Bell-y vibe, but with breakfast, it's just perfect. The eggs are very fluffy, great texture, very impressed. The sausage is so good, a lot better than the bacon. I was not a fan of that. I would suggest getting the sausage if you're getting breakfast items there. It just tastes more real and better. Good size, nice and grilled. Um, the tortilla is amazing. This is such a good $1 burrito. I am snatched. Now let's try the bean burrito from Taco Bell. Mmm, they're red sauce. Mm. Okay, so their bean burrito is so classic and so good. I do feel like when you bite into it, you just get a mouthful of refried beans and there's no other textures in it. Maybe if there was something crunchy in it, just to kind of change it up a bit, that would help. Otherwise, it is so good. The beans have a great flavor. The red sauce is delicious. The onions taste fresh. Cheese is good. So it's great. They're both good, but I think the winner of the small burrito round is... <laughs> Breakfast has two points. Dinner has one point. Next up, let's do the quesadillas. So the breakfast quesadilla was $2.50 and the chicken quesadilla from the dinner menu was $3.89. So this one is a bit pricier than the breakfast version and they're almost the same size. This one has chicken, but this one has sausage. So they both have meat. There is honestly no reason why this should be more expensive. But it is super nice that this breakfast menu is so affordable. It's just great. So let's first taste the breakfast one. So inside I see cheese, eggs, sausage, Oh wait, this isn't sausage, this is steak. Did I get the steak? I don't remember, I guess I did. I have never been a big fan of Taco Bell steak, but maybe in their breakfast items they'll taste good. I don't know, so let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. So it turns out that their steak is actually a lot better with the breakfast stuff, like with the eggs and the cheese and all that. It honestly works, and I've never liked their steak ever in my life, but this is good. It's big, affordable, and you can get it with any of the three meats. We're snatched. Let's try the chicken one from the dinner menu. Look at that noise. Oh, no. I'm a quesadilla destroyer. That's what I am. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I've always loved this so much, but today I don't know why it tastes even better. This quesadilla does have chicken and cheese, but it has a sauce on it. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's the jalapeno cream sauce or something like that, that this one doesn't have. This does not have a sauce. It's just kind of like simple breakfast flavors. This sauce takes it to such a high level of deliciousness. It's probably one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life. I'm not just saying that. I've always loved it so much, but today it tastes even better. It's so good. So I think the winner of the quesadilla round is... No! Dinner has two points, breakfast has two points. We have six rounds left. Next up, let's do desserts. But bitch, your asshole don't matter. Just make them butt cheeks look better. Stick your ass out till it breaks. 
break, shake it all night. Gotta make them cheeks look like they just got in a fight. Spark it, top it, ain't it, drop it. So these cinnamon twists on the dinner menu were only one dollar, very cheap. And the Cinnabon Delights 12 pack was five dollars. So it is pricier, but I mean, even though it might look obvious which item is gonna win this round, you never know, okay? These might destroy me today. Let's try these cinnamon chips. Hmm. They're good, but I've never been a huge fan of them. I don't know why. They need like a dip or something, like a icing. I don't know, right? The flavor's good, but it's like churro's ugly little bitch cousin. You know, it's like not all the way there. It isn't delicious. It's like good, but it's not delicious. Let's try one of these Cinnabon Delights. I haven't had them in so long. I guess if you have not had them, you really are missing out on a whole part of life that's good. So go get them right now. Not sponsored. Oh. Oh. I'm reborn. I'm not just saying this. One of the best desserts of all time ever made. And I feel like they're like a little different now. I think they have more filling than they used to. That was like really full of filling. I have to try another one just to make sure if they all have that much filling or if it's just that one. Let me see. Mm, they all have that much filling booch. I can't even describe it. It's like truly an experience. It isn't even like eating food. It's like finding your purpose, bitch. So I think the winner of the dessert round is... Breakfast has three points. Dinner has two points. Next round, let's do the big burritos. I... What is this feeling? It's a rumbling in my ass cheeks. No, 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 no. I, I, what is this feeling? It's a rumbling in my ass cheeks. So the Burrito Supreme on the dinner menu was $3.39, which is a good price. This is pretty big and pretty heavy. And the Grande Scrambler was $2.79. So once again, this is cheaper. So the Grande Scrambler has a lot of potatoes, bacon, eggs, sour cream, pico de gallo, nacho cheese, and I think that's it. That's like the perfect breakfast burrito right there. That sounds so good. Mmm. 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 Iconic! That's so good. The pico de gallo, the potatoes, the cheese, the nacho cheese, the sour cream, the egg, everything works so well together. I can just imagine that with sausage instead of bacon, it's probably like 100 times better even. So this is amazing. It's big, it's filling, it works. Now let's try the Burrito Supreme from the dinner menu. Oh, let me see what's in it. <laughs> I see ground beef, refried beans, lettuce, pico de gallo, sour cream possibly. I think that's it. Okay, so it's pretty simple, but it's big. So let's try it. Where was my bite? Right there, okay. Hmm, it's okay. All the textures are kind of the same. So it's just a big mouthful of goopiness, but like delicious goopiness. It's just missing something like rice or something crunchy, something to soak everything up. You know, it's, it's all very saucy in there. And I don't think it should be over $3. For this, it should be like two something because it's mostly beans. I think the winner of the big burrito round is breakfast. Come get your bacon, bitch. Breakfast has four points, dinner has two points, and we have four rounds left. Next up, let's do the side round. Ass cheek earthquake. Flip it, flip it, asshole, clip it. Ass cheek earthquake. Hit it, shit it, butthole, sniff it. Ass cheek earthquake. Wet it, pet it, ass can get it. Ass cheek earthquake. Ass cheek. Like I said before, um, they did forget my chips. So I'm gonna be using the extra taco they gave me as my chips. So the chips and nacho cheese was $1.59 and the hash brown was exactly $1. Have I ever had Taco Bell's hash brown? I'm not sure. Let's try it. So crispy. Mmm. Mmm. So good. That's the perfect fast food hash brown, guys. That is so good. That's the perfect amount of saltiness. Not too greasy. I mean, it is greasy, but not too greasy. The texture inside is so fluffy and so potato-y. Of course, it's a potato. <laughs> Idaho. Are you a hoe? I'm an Idaho. So good. Now let's try the nacho cheese with the chips. I'm just going to grab <laughs> part of this taco. So let's try it with this nacho cheese. 
That's a chewy chip. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. I'm gonna get a little whorish right now and go a little crazy. Oh, I don't have to try it. Y'all have to. <laughs> um, these together create art. Da Vinci, um, Thomas Edison, <laughs> Picasso, who? All these artists and creators, they're shook by this. I'm an innovator. I have to judge them separately, of course. Um, the nacho cheese sauce is great. It's that classic nacho cheese, but they forgot my chips. And I don't know if it would be a lot better with normal chips. This is iconic. This is the perfect hash brown, y'all. I think the winner of the side round is... <laughs> Breakfast has five points, dinner has two points, and there's three rounds left. Next up, we're gonna do the crunch wraps. Okay guys, so the breakfast crunch wrap is only $2.79. I got the sausage kind, thank God. And the crunch wrap supreme from the dinner menu is $3.79. Now it is bigger looking, but it is flatter also. So I'm just not sure if it's just more squished down. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that this version just has like the typical meat, cheese, crunchy round thingy, lettuce, tomato, sour cream, all that stuff. And I'm guessing this version has potato, sausage, cheese, eggs, things like that. So let's first try the dinner version. Mm, it's so good. I feel like it is missing something, like some kind of a spice or some kind of a tanginess. The meat is strong, but I feel like there's not enough meat in it to take over the flavor. The sour cream in it is good, but it does kind of extinguish everything like too much. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. It's good, I'm just not snatched. Now let's try the breakfast version, okay? Mmm. No feel that. Mmm. Hmm. Hold on. So at first I saw this potato like cake, it's like a hash brown, and this sausage patty, and I was like, oh my god, that's so delicious. Look at all this layeredness, deliciousness. But then the more I chewed it, the drier it got, and the less flavor it got. I feel like this like really needs like a sauce inside, or some kind of a, like a jalapeno creaminess or something, because it's just very dry. The concept is great, like the potato and everything, it's perfect, but it definitely needs something more. So, I think the winner of the crunch wrap round is... The no, 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 finally got one, bitch. Dinner has three points, breakfast has five points, and we have two rounds left. The potato burritos and the wild card round. So let's do potato burrito. Oh. Spark it, pop it, anus, drop it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Flip it, flip it, asshole, clip it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Hit it, shit it, butthole, sniff it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Wet it, pet it, ass can get it, ass, cheek. So the cheesy potato griller from the dinner menu was $2, which I think is crazy. There's no meanness. It's just potato, sour cream, and cheese, I think. So it should have been $1 for sure. And then the grilled breakfast burrito fiesta potato, it's a long ass title, was $1. Are you kidding me? Half the price. They're like the same size. This one actually feels heavier. So this one has eggs, potatoes, pico de gallo, nacho cheese. Looks delicious. And then like I said, this one just has potato, sour cream, and nacho cheese. Okay, so let's first try the dinner one. Mm. That carb on top of carb texture really is everything. <laughs> I mean, it is very simple. It is like just potatoes in there basically, but Somehow it works. I do think it should be a dollar, but if you love potatoes or like fries, I think you'll love this. Now let's try the breakfast version of it. Mmm. Mmm. So this is literally this one, but just with eggs and pico de gallo. Let me tell y'all, that pico de gallo just adds such a freshness, just like with the bowls. So good. It's like this one, but just better, honestly. And it's a dollar cheaper. I think the winner of the potato burrito round is... <laughs> Breakfast has six points. Dinner has three points. Last round, y'all, the wild card round. The double chalupa versus the sausage flatbread. Ass cheek earthquake. Twerk it in my 
So yes, these are completely different, but we'll see which one's better. The sausage flatbread quesadilla was only a dollar, and the double chalupa was $3.50, which I think is a fair price because it's so heavy. It has so much meat in there. Let's first try this flatbread sausage quesadilla thing. It has sausage, eggs, and cheese, I think. So let's just dive in. I'm gonna eat it like this so I get all the good stuff. Mmm. Hmm. Sausage and eggs are great, like always, but the flatbread, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of the flavor. It's a little too sweet. I don't know. It doesn't really go with the Taco Bell flavors. The texture is great. It is very, very, very fluffy. It's like a fluffy tortilla, but the sweetness doesn't really go. So let's try this double chalupa. It has lettuce, tomato, cheese, a sauce on it. It's like an orangey sauce, sour cream, and tons of meat. Okay. Oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. I tried to get everything in one bite, and the bite was way too big. But, oh my god, that is so good. Wow. Tons of meat. Such a crispy fried tortilla. Delicious. I will say, there's a bit too much sauce in there. It's like a flood of sour cream in your mouth. It's just a lot. But, like, if you love a chalupa, you'll just be slayed by this. I think the winner of the wild card round is... That is the oh, So, the food battle is over. Breakfast got six points, dinner got four points. So the winner of the whole food battle is my sunshine, my breakfast. Y'all know I love Taco Bell dinner so much, but their breakfast is just as good, if not better. It's incredible. I just feel like all their menus slay. All of them. It's just, it's incredible. So this is not sponsored by the way, and all opinions are my uh, own. Go watch my last video, what I do. Oh yes, I ate at the worst reviewed restaurant in my area. Oh my god, go check it out right now. I'll see you in the next video. I love you so much. Ooh.